Hello, my beautiful Leos. This is Debs, and this is your reading for mid-May 2022. How is everyone? I hope everyone is well out there. And thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. If you have, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't thank you enough. Um, now, Leo, a really interesting vision. Um, just come out of meditation. There was a woman that I saw was spending the day pony trekking. She was pony trekking and she passed... She passed an old pub and she thought, I'm just going to go in. I'm going to have a glass of wine, Coca-Cola, salad, whatever this is, and spend the rest of the afternoon trekking around this forest. She got talking to an old farmer who was sitting on a stool. He had a pint of beer or bitter or something like that. And he was saying to this woman, just make sure that you don't take the shortcut because there is a trap, an animal trap. And if you get your horse's foot stuck in this animal trap, not only is it going to hurt the horse, but, you know, you could be there for hours and hours and hours. So even though it looks like a shortcut, don't go round in that direction. OK. So the woman thanked him. She got on a horse. She had a food. She got on a horse and headed back down this track into this wooded area. And she was really enjoying the day. It was a bright, sunny day. She was breathing in the air. And then there was a snap. Her horse had trodden on a branch and she suddenly remembered what this old farmer has said. And she thought, OK, I'm not going to take the shorter route round, which was actually prettier. It looked nicer. There was a stream that was in that area that she wanted to see. She thought, no, I'm going to go the longer route round because... I just don't want to get myself caught and trapped in something I can't get out of. OK, so she ended up going back around this route. Later on, when she got home, her friend of hers said, flatmate or something, a friend of hers said, God, you never guess. You know, the other girl that was in the riding school, well, she took the shortcut and her horse fell into this animal trap and actually... Not only did the horse have to be put down, but when the girl fell off the horse, she's now in hospital with a broken foot. And it was really interesting. This woman said, oh, my God, how awful. Actually, she said, I was nearly in that situation. I nearly went round that way, but I'm really glad I didn't now because the same thing could have happened to me. Now, it's a very long winded vision I know but I had to relay it to you because that's what I saw that's what I heard there's definitely something here Leo that you're going to be avoiding now it could be anything it could be somebody messages you emails you with a get rich quick scheme you know if you sign on the dotted line we can build your earnings and you may have a lot of money in the next couple of years hmm if you meet someone and they look perfect on paper, they look perfect in theory, it may well be that you realise that this person has maybe issues that they're dealing with that you didn't know before. I mean, it could be this person is heavily in debt and you didn't know. It could be that you find out this person has some serious addictions and you didn't know. So something that looks good on paper in theory, Leo, you're being advised to steer around. Don't go anywhere near it, even if it looks great. Even if whatever this is, you feel, oh my goodness, I could clear my debt. I could get into a relationship. Whatever this is for you, don't do it. Don't do it. This is a warning reading from the divine, okay? And I'm hearing if you take the longer route round, you're going to be celebrating in the future. Okay? All right. OK, guys, let's jump in. Do you forgive my thumbnail? I've literally just broken it, which is really annoying. But there we go. Uh, silly thing. But I'm a girl. I like my nice nails. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Leo. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos. This is mid-May 2022. Ooh. Just jumped out of the deck. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Don't plough your money into something, Leo without finding out the facts first you could lose money it could be somebody comes to you and they say to you we've got a fantastic investment leo you've got to put money into this you do it and then you regret it 
okay? It could also be someone that you knew in the past who's coming back to you. Maybe they want to work in business with you. Maybe they're thinking that you two could go in partnership. But even though you may feel that you know this person, you trust this person, it could be since the time that you knew them, they might have had some financial difficulties. And what you may be realising, Leo, is, well, they may be wanting to potentially have you help them out financially and make out as if they're doing you a favour. You know, Leo, I could be your assistant, right? Yeah, you just need to pay me such and such per month. And then you may realise, oh my God, they screwed up all my emails. They've completely, you know, made my invoicing a complete chaos and I've paid them to do it, right? Leo, keep your head screwed on, all right? Okay, here we go, here we go. Who do we have joining us in this reading, please, Michael? For my Leos, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Metatron. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting another vision. Michael showed me a guy entering um, an organic food shop. They've got some fruit on sale, but he's deciding to he's deciding to disregard the sale and he's going for the higher priced newer fruit. I'm hearing much better quality. Even though I get less for my money, it's much better quality. Leo, you're going for quality, not quantity. And you can really use that um, in any area of life. You're going for quality, not quantity. Okay, don't go for just what something or someone looks like on the outside. Go for the inside person. Take the longer route round. Okay, do your research on someone. Slowly, slowly, Leo. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, wow. I can see balloons, celebration, people clinking glasses. Well done. Congratulations. Now, this, as I said, it could be anything. It could be you wanting to speed through your exams. Oh, yeah. OK, I, I just need to read that book and that book. You may need to do it more in depth to get the result you want. OK. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, even if you may be keen to progress further towards a goal, you're better off going the longer way around. OK. Because the more complicated. Sorry, I'm channeling the more complicated you make your life, I'm hearing bringing people into your life to inverted commas help you. They can do that. They can do that. I'll have more free time. I can get more money in. Don't spread yourself too thin, Leo. Keep it nice and tight. Keep a tight ship. There's something here about not taking any shortcuts. Just keep ploughing forward. You're going to be really successful if you do that. Thank you, Michael. I've already cut the deck. <laughs> okay. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Leo, you've come out of a period of feeling a bit on your own, a bit disenchanted. Maybe you're working your socks off and you feel, God, every time I earn money, it goes in tax, bills, insurance, kids, whatever this is, it just goes. And you're a bit fed up with it. You are making progress, Leo, but there's something here about you feeling just a bit fed up. For some of you, you're fed up with being on your own. Maybe for some of you, you're thinking, oh, I'll give someone a chance if they're interested in me. The warning here is, Leo, I know it's boring, but don't do anything impulsive don't act too quickly. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't make life more complicated than it is. OK, you could regret it. You could regret it. The hermit flew out. Virgo energy. Yeah, you're feeling on your own. You're doing a lot of thinking. You may feel a bit isolated right now. You may feel it's all work, no play. Just don't do anything that you know is slightly risky that you haven't had experience in before. Now, it could be that you've got simply someone that's feeling on their own that wants to reconnect with you. 
but for some reason, it could lead to a loss of financial security. I don't quite know how that ties in, but it could do. There could be somebody here who wants to improve their own finances by, in the nicest sense, Leo, latching on to another person. But they don't have the right intentions. It's all a bit self-serving. And I think the divine is warning you about that. Okay. In the past, Knight of Cups in the reverse, there was a very sort of off and on energy that you had to deal with. Someone flying into your life, praising you and then leaving. I mean, this could be any work colleague. It could be somebody that was a friend, friends of benefits. It could be a romantic interest. Um, I feel as if you coped with this situation for what it was and you didn't dwell on it too much. And I'm hearing Michael say to me, that was the best thing that you did. You didn't dwell on it too much. You let it go. But you may have been curious as to what that was all about. What the hell was that all about sort of energy, you know? Hmm. You made a judgment call in the immediate past to let this go. You could have been connected to a Sagittarius. Or you simply made a judgment call to concentrate on your own life. What we're looking at now, Leo, is with the King of Cups in the reverse, somebody may be, may be, coming in to emotionally manipulate you. I'm hearing playing the victim. Oh, things haven't worked out. Yeah, I didn't get the job I wanted. Mm, money isn't good. Mm, do you need a bit of help, Leo, in your business? Do you, you know, do, do you uh, need anything done? Be careful. I keep hearing get rich quick and I know it's so boring guys because this whole financial thing's driving me crazy this storyline's coming up but okay Leo knight of swords in the immediate future you're nobody's fool you're going to tell it to this person straight I'm sorry you feel left out in the cold I'm sorry things aren't going well for you I'm sorry you're struggling financially but um I'm not interested is what I'm hearing okay could even be an advertising company I mean for those of you who are readers out there you know, all of us get bombarded by companies wanting us to advertise their products, but there's always a catch. You have to advertise their products in a certain way over a length of time, and it's actually very draining. You have to come up with a certain amount of extra sales due to the people that have, well, I don't know. But it's all very complicated, and um, it's stressful. And if you're doing okay, you're not doing brilliantly, you know, you're not some flipping multimillionaire, but you're doing okay, you can afford to pay your rent, your mortgage, your taxes, clear your debt, whatever this is. I just wouldn't touch it. I just would keep going. That's the energy. Someone's coming in to say they can help, but actually they're trying to help themselves somehow on your back. Okay. And I think you're going to steer clear. Now, in your fears, High Priestess in Reverse, fearing seeing the reality of the situation, fearing a secret's going to come out, fearing this person is going to charge into your life and then tell you something you don't want to hear, okay? Temperance in the Reverse, Sagittarian energy. This is someone who is fed up with coasting in their life, fed up with waiting for something, happiness, love, financial security they're fed up with waiting they're going to take an impulsive leap forward and it could be towards you leo and i think the divine is warning you no matter how great this looks on the outside it's not for you and i know you're disappointed you're thinking well devs this is a great reading i'm just telling you what i'm hearing and what i'm seeing this is not for you leo this could cause you to have to, I'm hearing, backtrack and you may waste, I'm hearing, a year. You may waste a year, okay? Maybe they're saying this is somebody who's going to cause hassle in your life. It's not going to work anyway. You could waste a year with this person, okay? Wow. Wow. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, some of you may be hoping, if this is love, 
but this isn't somebody who wants to come back to you, who's lying to you, pretending they're single when they're not, they're just a bit bored, maybe their partner lives miles away. For some of you, you're hoping that the interaction with this person is not going to cause you financial loss. Got to say it. The outcome, the death card, Scorpio. So you could be directly connecting to a Scorpio or a Virgo or a Sag. Be careful, guys. I think you're going to put an end to this. I think you're going to see straight through it. And if this was someone that you knew in the past that you spent some time with, let them go. Let them go. I'm hearing with love. Let them go with love. This is not for you. Okay. Clarification. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody may have lost their job and be on the breadline. Okay. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse is also someone who hasn't had a lump sum of money coming in. They're very stressed about that. We also have someone who wants to get out of a very boring long-term situation, but they can't offer you anything committed. With the energy of the Fool, Aries energy, they're taking a massive leap and a risk towards you. And with the Five of Swords in the reverse, they're going to do it strategically, which means they're not going to fight for you. They're not going to be moving towards you and saying, I really want to be with you. I really think this is going to be amazing for us. They're going to find I'm hearing the side entrance. Now, Leo, if this is someone that wanted to be with you, they may be realising, well, it's not going to work out in a commitment type of sense because I can't offer them commitment because I'm in a relationship with somebody else. But they may come back to you and sort of make out as if they want to help you in some way. You know, maybe I could be your administrative assistant or something. You know, you wouldn't have to pay me very much. They somehow want something from you, but they're going to make out as if they're helping you. When that's not the case, I think you're going to see through this because it's. I'm hearing it's only going to end in tears, Leo. You're going to avoid the shortcut, the, the get rich quick. This could be somebody that says, you know, you could you could earn so much more if you had somebody to help you. You could do more work. And you're thinking, yeah, well, I'm doing OK. You know, I'm doing all right. I'm not sort of stressing that I'm not getting my work, not getting work in. But I just get the feeling that you're going to end up realizing that's going to cause you so many more complications. And I just feel that this person doesn't have the right agenda. Leo, that's that's what I'm feeling. OK, now, bottom of the deck. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Page of Wands. It's going to start with a little message. It could simply be, hey, how are you? This is someone that you haven't seen for a while. Eight of Wands. They're going to be messaging you to say, interesting. Ten of Swords in reverse that they've healed. They sorted themselves out. After some kind of ending, I mean, this could be somebody that says, oh, yeah, but uh, I got divorced. Um, I've just been sorting my life out. Or, yeah, you know, I did lose my job in the company. I've just been healing. I've just been sorting myself out financially. Um, somebody may not be telling you the truth. We've got Aries and Taurus there. Somebody is keeping something secret that actually they just find you very attractive. They want to move towards you. But just be aware, Leo, that underneath that we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is either somebody who doesn't have any money, so they want you to kind of help them out. Or this is somebody who still has a karmic partner hanging on to them and they don't want you to know. Okay. Whew, my Leos. Okay, guys. Sorry, the camera's a bit blurry. Um, right, let's move these. To the woman that said, can you sort out your camera so the cards don't blur when you put the, the, the card up to the camera? No, I can't do anything about that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some people ask these questions. Yeah, I'm sorry. And if I do touch the cards and it pisses you off, then watch somebody else. Okay, I say that with love. Lots of readers out there. All right, guys, we all have our foibles. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. If I could pick these damn cards up. Five of Pentacles, you see it's annoyed me already, this energy. Yeah, 
So you are feeling a bit on your own or you're wanting to improve your money. It could be both, Leo. It could be that you've been working diligently. You're really, really bored. Money is getting a little bit better, but you still have a lot of debts to clear, whatever this is. And you're sitting in the hermit energy. OK, mm. now you could be interacting with somebody who is missing you, feeling on their own, and they want to bring you back into their life. But they may be doing it in a strategic way. So they may be using helping you somehow in just being in your life because for them, it's going to mean that they have more options. Now, it could be that if you are well known, for instance, on social media, it could be, wow, Leo has all these subscribers or Leo has all these contacts. I don't have a job right now. So maybe if I pretended I wanted to come in and help Leo, I could get something from them. They could help me get a job. They could help me raise my profile. Mm, but Leo, even though you may feel, well, I don't mind doing that, what you're going to realise is it's going to take a lot from you, energetically, financially. And even though you may say to this person, look, I'm happy to give you advice. I'm happy to sit down with you and brainstorm and let's find out what you could do. Let's um, see if we can help you that way. I don't think you want to be directly involved with this person at a deeper level in your business as somebody that you start a relationship with. You're going to realize it's not a good idea. You're going to realize it. In the past, Knight of Cups, somebody flew into your life, flew into your life, if I could speak, very charming, very romantic, but they came in and they whined and lined you or whatever and then they left. You realise that actually the divine may have stopped that situation. OK, Leo, we're warning you. This is not good. If they come back, we are advising you not to move forward with this person, not to get embroiled with this situation. Now, Leo, what's happening is with the King of Cups in the reverse, this is someone wanting to come back in. They may express they have feelings for you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is someone who actually intends to manipulate you a little bit to their benefit. OK, and you're just being warned. Michael, when do we have the Knight of Swords in the immediate future, please, for my Leos? Thank you. June, 6th of June, he's pointing forward to the 8th of August. 6th of June to the 8th of August. Leo, I don't think that you have any qualms in opening up to this person. You're sat in the Knight of Swords. I'm not getting a harsh energy, but what I think you're doing is I'm hearing nipping it in the bud. I'm actually seeing somebody de-head a rose bush, you know, flowers that die. You take the flowers off to, to enable new flowers to come through again. You're going to nip it in the bud. You're going to say, yeah, lovely idea, but I'm sorry, I just don't think that's for me. I'm sorry, I don't have the time. I'm sorry, I don't have the extra funds. I'm sorry, I don't need an assistant. OK, there's going to be something like that. And you're going to make it very clear in a very calm way that you wish this person well, that if they want any advice, you're happy to talk to them, brainstorm, as I said. But you don't want to get them involved into your life in a deeper way. You're just not wanting to do it. I'm hearing red flag. You're going to see that there's a red flag. It may be this person is really nervous. It may be you find out this person doesn't have anywhere to live, doesn't have a job. It could be that you feel, yeah, not sure. Can't find any information about them on the Internet to prove that they're not actually married to somebody else. There's something, Leo, that you're going to feel uncomfortable about. And I think you're going to realise the best thing for me to do, even though it looks like a fantastic chance, looks like a great guy, looks like a very attractive girl, whatever this is, looks like I could earn a bit more money. I'm just not going to do it. I'm mm, just not going to do it. You're not going to do anything risky, Leo. And you're going to be very honest with this person about that straight up right? Straight up. Nice, calm, but you're going to make it very clear that they can't change your mind. So you're communicating <laughs> my nails with this person here. Could be a Sag. We've got the temperance energy. Okay. Temperance card. 
Or this is somebody who simply have been, they've been coasting, waiting, chilling out, thinking, when is the right time to come back to Leo? I almost feel as if this is somebody that you might have had issues with in the past. You might have had issues with this person. You didn't trust them or they weren't a really good worker or something like that. They're coming back in after allowing you time to calm down, to cool down, to let the dust settle. I'm just going to give Leo a few months and wait until they're in a, I'm hearing a lighter frame of mind. Okay. But they don't want to wait anymore. They're looking directly at you and they're coming back in. But what is interesting is what you're looking at, you've you got your back turned slightly to this person. What you're realising is they just feel on their own and they want to earn a bit more money. That's all you're thinking. It's almost as if this person is standing in front of you and talking and talking, and talking, saying, I could help you. I could do this. I could do that. It would be great for, for your business. It would, it would be wonderful for you to have some extra time. And you're thinking, I don't need this. Yes, it's tough right now. Yes, I'm working my socks off. Or yes, I could do with a bit of extra financial boost. But you know what? It's going to be way more complicated if I bring you into my life. I mean, it could even be somebody who wants to babysit your kids, you know. And you're thinking, yeah, but actually by the time I've cleaned up the pizza box and I've settled the kids because they've been given candy since I, you know, I left the house by my babysitter, then it's more hassle than it's worth. I mean, this could be any type of situation, but you get my meaning. It's just not worth the hassle. So this is going to be difficult, Leo. Because you're going to have to say no to this person and they're not going to like it. They're not going to like it. They're assuming that you will say, OK. But what they're not taking into account is the fact that you you sort of know that they need you, not the other way around. In your fears, the high priestess in reverse, fearing that there's some kind of secret that's going to come out, that's going to make you feel uncomfortable. OK, OK. You're even fearing opening back up to this person, Leo, because this could have been someone that you had issues with in the past. I mean, this could even be a family member who suddenly is turning up saying, I can help you. I can do this, that and the other. But you realise they're just a bit bored. They're not doing very much. Maybe they're retired. You know, um, maybe this is somebody who loves kids and they don't have kids and they want to look after your kids. But there's something about this which is just going to cause you more drama. And I think you can see it coming a mile off. What you're hoping is that with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, whatever the situation is, doesn't cause you financial loss. For those of you who are questioning as to if this is a love situation, you're questioning as to whether or not this person is actually single. You may simply be hoping that they're not in a commitment, you know. Mm. The final card is the death card. Now. I think the divine is saying to you, Leo, you are going to be able to transform your situation. Whether or not this is money, yeah, don't worry about it. The divine is saying, don't worry about it. Take it slowly. Keep going. Keep your head down. You're going to be fine. You're going to achieve your goal. For others of you, this is all about closing out a cycle that might have been very challenging with one particular person that you may realize never really wanted to let you go. And they were going to be finding any which way to stay in your life because maybe they wanted to be with you. Maybe they felt that you would be good for them in terms of contacts, in terms of business. And it's almost as if you feel as if this is a person, this is a person in the nicest sense who could be a little bit of a leech and you kind of want to brush them off your arm. Yeah, don't suck on to me. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you go and find someone else. It sounds awkward, but that's what I'm getting. OK. All right. Now, here we have this person, eight of pentacles in the reverse. They may have lost their desk job, their day job. Bless them. And I'm so sorry if they have. And they may be struggling because they haven't got money coming in. OK. Now, this could also be someone that told you previously that they weren't in a relationship, but they never committed to you either. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. OK. Well, I'm single, but... This is somebody who may have wanted friends of benefits. They weren't interested in anything serious. With the full coming through Aries energy, this is somebody who is deciding to take a massive leap of faith in your direction, either because they feel you would be good for them in terms of business, 
you know, oh, maybe Leo could get me a job. Maybe Leo could improve my status. I don't know, on social media, whatever this is. They're coming in saying, I've changed. I was selfish. I was self-orientated. I did want you to help me. I did want this, that and the other, but I've changed. Mm, Leo, I don't think they have. I don't think they have. I just think that they have potentially, and again, I'm so sorry for anyone who's gone through a rough time. They've potentially had to face obstacles. For some of them, they face karma and they're coming back to you to say, what can I do to help you, Leo? But actually what they really mean is, what can you do to help me? Okay. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone you may have known seven years ago, seven months ago. You could even have given this person money, Leo, to help them at the time. But this is now someone that you are having to revisit because they're coming back into your life. It's going to start with a really small message, page of wands. I mean, for some of you, you could even be in a situation, if I'm connecting with a male, Leo, that this is someone that you had a child with and they want to come back into your life to say, I need a bit more cash. And you're kind of rolling your eyes thinking, yeah, I gave you a fair bit back then. Anyway, eight of wands, they're messaging you. They may be actually wanting to travel a distance to see you. And what they're going to say is, ten of swords in reverse, I have gone through a painful ending, but I've healed. I'm fine. I don't think they are fine. Yes, they may have healed from a painful ending. Could have been job loss, could have been divorce. But I don't think they are fine. I think this is someone who was trying to find a side entrance back into your life, but they're not going to be open about what they really genuinely want from you. They want something from you. Your time, your contacts, finances. They want something from you. And I think you're going to get that it's just not worth the risk. All right, Leo. Sorry, guys, if I'm duplicating the message but there we go <laughs> tarot readings are usually one message and then we go through the details but here we go let's just see so michael what have you got please for the five of pentacles in the reverse crossed with the energy of the hermit hmm. yeah seven of swords in the reverse somebody's just being strategic or you pushed away someone in the past leo who wasn't honest with you who was deceptive and maybe they feel that now time has passed, you're going to welcome them back into your life. Hmm. Leo, Ace of Swords in reverse. This is tricky because this is someone who's not going to tell you the truth. This is someone who could tell you an outright lie. This is also someone that can't seem to detach from you. They just can't do it. Five of Cups, they may have caused you a lot of pain and heartbreak in the past. Or you do know that you haven't been able to forget this person either. And you think about them now and again. They may know that. But again, Leo, they may use that in order to kind of wriggle their way back into your life. What is Leo thinking about? <laughs> Eight of Swords. I'm scared to death to let this person back into my life because I don't think it's a good idea, says Leo. All right. Michael, what happened in the past for the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Oh, Leo, was that the problem? Did you fall for someone who didn't treat you well and they're coming back in on the pretext of helping you? I just want to see if I can give you a helping hand, Leo. Yeah, you kind of know what they're doing. But they were very in and out of your life. They could have just romanced you, love bombed you and made you feel as if it was all going to work out. And it didn't, didn't. Yeah. You felt this person put you in a very unjust situation. For some of you, this could even have been some kind of work contract. You could even have fallen in love with a client and then you realised that this wasn't going anywhere and it could have affected your business as well. So this may be love that is somehow tied to finance or business for some of you. Yeah, so maybe the contract ended, but so did they. Maybe they made out as if they were interested in you romantically, but you realise they just wanted a job and then they kind of upped and left. Hmm, tricky situation. Libra energy there. 
but you felt it was a really unjust thing that they did in the past. Now, in the immediate past, you made a judgment call to stand up for yourself and to listen to the divine, which is basically your intuition. And I think your intuition said, no way. OK, yeah. So you made a judgment call that this person really just wanted a very quick relationship, friends with benefits, one night stand. You know, they had a great idea and then it fizzled out and you had to pick up the pieces. Whatever this was, this is you thinking, yeah, this is not going to be long term. This is not going to last. You realised, you realised. Six of Pentacles in reverse. You realised this person was giving you very little. You may also have realised that financially this person was struggling and they wanted to lean on you. And this is you thinking, yeah, no, this is not for me. Not for me. Leo. Now, King of Cups in reverse. This is what you're thinking about. This is someone that you're going to realise wants to come back into your life, Leo. The star. Okay. So what you're thinking about is that this person wants to heal the connection, could be an Aquarius, and come back into your life. They want to calm the waters, but what you're thinking is, I think that they're going to manipulate me. I have a feeling that they want something from me. Hmm. Yeah, wow. For some of you... You may feel this person is acting, they're play acting, that they want to be with you, but actually they just want a job or they want good references or they want to increase their subscribers or they want you to lend them a lump sum of money. You're going to realise this person wants something from you, which is why they're coming in to heal the situation. But you're looking at this person thinking they're manipulative. They're just manipulative. Yeah, wow, Leo, Ten of Wands. And that's why you're so stressed about this seemingly wonderful offer coming in because you don't trust the person that's giving you the offer. You don't trust it at all. Michael, who is this person? Why are they sat in the energy of temperance in the reverse? <laughs> Leo. They're thinking about you, the sun card. Oh, I could expand with Leo. I could grow my business. Whatever this is, Leo, whatever this is, this is someone who has high hopes that you're somehow going to change their life. You're going to give them the life that they wanted or that you're going to help them grow their business or something like that. You're their inspiration, Leo, which is all sweet, but I have a feeling this is somebody that you just don't trust. You don't trust them that way. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Interesting. Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo energy. This is somebody mm, who may have a twisted way of manifesting what they want without being reputable, without acting with integrity and I think you're going to realize it yeah queen of pentacles in reverse this is somebody if you're a male this is somebody who is desperate for a relationship because maybe they can't afford to pay their rent maybe this is a girl who's wanting to move in with you leo but you realize yeah you don't have a job right um leo this is really difficult but this is I feel also, someone knowing that you may want to be in a relationship, maybe they see you as single and unhappy being single. Oh, OK, so I'm going to offer Leo a relationship because I know that's what they want. And then I can get all the I'm here. Oh, wow. OK. And then I can get all the goodies that come with that. So whatever goodies Leo, come with this person offering you a commitment. Then that's what they want. OK, um, advice on their business, roof over their head, nice car to drive when you're working, whatever this is. They're moving towards you rather mortifyingly because they think that you want to be in a relationship, but they're after the goodies, whatever those are. OK, you know what those are. Maybe you are an amazing cook and this person thinks, wow, if I moved in with Leo, 
I could have home cooked meals for months on end. It would be amazing. I'd never have to cook for myself again. And Leo could do my laundry, right? Whatever this is for you, it could be something just really menial, but for them, it's great. Leo, you just see right through this. You do, you see right through this. Um, what else is this person thinking? What else is this person thinking? Yeah, let's let the dust settle because we've had arguments before and I can come in and wine and dine them, seduce them, whatever this is for you. Yeah. Hmm. What is this person thinking about? <laughs> we just saw in reverse. Maybe they know, Leo, that... <sighs> You may be a bit cross with them still. You may be a bit upset with them. You're going to cut them out of your life. Um, or maybe this is your reaction when you charge in to talk to them. This is them thinking of your reaction. Let's just see. Yeah. Two of pentacles in reverse. So they think you're going to cut them out. Because... Either they've been juggling you with somebody else in another area or they haven't got a pot to piss in. I'm sorry, Leo. This is someone who can't afford to pay their rent. And somebody's thinking, oh my God, what do I do now? Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll offer Leo a relationship and then I'll have somewhere to live. Um, this is tricky, Leo, but this is what this person is thinking. Oh my goodness. But they know that you're not going to be playing, okay? Yeah, yeah. This is them realising that they can't do it. You're holding yourself back, you're holding your head high, you're not even considering what they are suggesting. And you're also not tempted. If this is romance or sexual chemistry, you're taming the lion, you're not letting them anywhere near you, Leo. You're not allowing them to seduce you. Okay, you're reining that in. I mean, if you're a guy and this is a girl that's gorgeous, you know, she's going to turn up with a low cut top, short skirt, getting you a bit drunk. Oh, maybe Leo, I could move in with you for a few weeks. Yeah, you kind of know what she's looking for, right? Yeah. Okay, so how is my Leo feeling with the Knight of Swords? You're going to tell this person straight, you know? Yeah. Six of Swords, you're either going to say to them, look, I think you're still connected to somebody else. I don't want to fling. Or you're saying to this person, I'm sorry, but I've moved on. We connected a long time ago. I've moved on in my life. I'm, I'm not in that place in my life anymore. Things have changed. So I'm not interested in um, going back to the past. Yeah, bless Leo. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Now, you could say to this person, look, I don't have a great deal of money myself, but if you're really, really stuck, then I can help you a little bit, you know? Or maybe you say to this person, I know somebody that could get you a job, I don't know. Or, for those of you who are being really blunt, Leo, you will say to this person, I released you. Yeah, I hung on to the idea that you would be doing the right thing before, but I'm sorry, I had to let you go. I've moved on. What else is Leo going to be saying to this person? Mm, three of Wands. You may say to this person, Leo, if they live a distance, please don't take the trouble of actually getting on a plane or a train to come and see me because I'm not around. Simply that. In the nicest sense, you're saying to this person, I may have waited for you for a while to sort your life out, to come back to me, but you didn't, so I've moved on. What you're doing, Leo, is that you're giving this person every single indication that you're not wanting to look at this again with them, whether it's business, whether it's romance, whether it's a little bit of both, you're saying no, no, not for me anymore, not for me anymore, yeah, three of pentacles in reverse, I don't want to work in partnership, yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll have an administrative assistant, but I'm not paying you to be my assistant, no, no, you're, you're being very open with this person, now guys, you've got a lot of threes in the reverse, We've got a lot of threes in the reverse. Maybe you know this person is still in a relationship with somebody else and they're not being honest with you. Anyway, 
What is the energy that is between these two people? Yeah, yeah. Seven of Cups in reverse. They're coming out of confusion, realizing that you're not playing ball and you're coming out of confusion, understanding that they wanted something else from you that is now all coming to light. It wasn't just, hey, how are you? I've missed you. There's more. So Michael, what is the energy of the death card for my Leos? Yeah, okay, so Leo. Three of Swords in the reverse. You're going to realise, even though it's painful, that this person isn't coming back to sweep you off your feet, to profess undying love, to say that they want to marry you, okay? This is someone who wanted something from you, and this is going to hurt, okay? I'm going to be blunt with you. It's not going to be a nice feeling, you know? Those of you who had romantic intentions for this person, you may think, oh my goodness, they've come back to me, they've realised they love me. No, they probably wanted a loan. They probably wanted you to help them in their business. But the way they're going about it is a bit sneaky. And I think this is going to hurt, Leo, okay? So just be aware of that. I think you're going to put an end to it. I think you're going to turn this person away. But it's not going to be a comfortable feeling, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're realising that it's not a good idea to reunite with this person. Um, you may also feel that they're hiding someone else in the picture. I mean, maybe this is somebody that dated you a while ago. Maybe they were in your company or something like that. You worked with them. They're coming back to smooth you because they want their job back. But in between the time that they were with you and now, they may have got someone pregnant. They may be looking for money. So this is just awkward for you, Leo, but I think you're going to walk away, okay? You're going to hold your head high. Yep. <laughs> you're going to hold your head high, Leo, and walk away, six of wands. Turn your back on this person. This is you in a really good place in your life, Leo. Yes, you may be struggling paying the bills, but you're getting there, so don't give up. Don't take this opportunity in inverted commas because this is someone who wants to take from you not help you okay and you're doing pretty well with the six of wands you're doing pretty well what else is on leo's mind the tower scorpio aries energy it could be a shock that this person comes back you may realise, wow, I put them on a bit of a pedestal and now I realise what sort of person they really are. They don't really want love. They want contacts. They want to be seen by the public as doing very well, being successful. They want a boost in their career. It's going to hurt you, Leo. So you're just going to avoid this like the plague. You're going to avoid this at all costs. Nine of Pentacles. You're going to blow this up. You're going to say to this person, I'm not interested. I'm fine by myself. Nine of Pentacles. Now, if this is a male Leo, you're going to, you've got a girl coming in who needs something from you. And you're going to say, Leo, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Yeah, I'm doing well in my career. I'm not interested in reuniting with you. You, Leo, if you're a masculine energy, could very well be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. They want something from you. You're just going to say no. Okay, you're going to look after yourself. All right. The chariot, Cancerian energy. After I'm hearing five seconds of thinking, you're just going to move on. You're going to think, yeah. Yeah. Or this person is going to realise that you're serious and they're going to leave. If they came in from a distance, they're just going to get back on the train or the plane or they're in their car. And they're just going to drive away, speed away, fly away. You may never see this person again. OK, yeah, you may need, never see them again. Two of swords in reverse. You see the truth. Blindfold is off and you're making a decision to accept that you have feelings at some point for this person. But I think this is you, Leo, putting this firmly in the past. Yeah. Yeah, you're putting this firmly in the past. Two of wands. If you had been subconsciously standing at crossroads, wondering if this person was going to come back, well, they've come back, but you've realised that this is not for you. 
and you're moving down a new path. You're looking to the future, Leo, okay? You're heading towards somebody else. Ten of Cups. Now, for some of you, you're giving yourself the Ten of Cups. This is you and your nice little home thinking, thank God I didn't, you know, say you can stay for a few months. For some of you, it could be that you're pulling family around you. For others of you, this is you thinking, I know my Ten of Cups is out there with somebody else, but I want to be with somebody who loves me, not somebody who wants me for other reasons. And that's what you're telling yourself. I'm going to wait. I'm going to go the long way around. If it takes me 10 years, I'm going to be with somebody who genuinely loves me, not wants to be with me for a roof over their head, for a leg up in their career, for financial security. No, you're realising, you're realising what you deserve. Yeah, seven of wands in reverse, you're going to accept defeat. But in a strange way, I don't think you're going to have to push this person away again, because if they've been a little bit because if they've been blowing up your phone or they've been sending you hundreds of emails, you know, then this is you thinking, well, at least they're not going to do that again. At least I'm, I'm not going to get all these emails or phone calls or text messages, messages from this person anymore. I can relax. I don't need to be defensive the whole time. So, Michael, what outcome do we have for my beautiful Leos? What outcome do we have for my Leos? The Empress. Wow. Now, for my masculine Leos, you could well end up meeting someone who is worthy of a commitment, somebody who's going to love, care and nurture you. They could be a Taurus or a Libra. For my feminine Leos, you are practicing self-care. You've reached Empress level and you are simply looking for your Emperor. You know what you deserve and you're hanging on in there. And you don't want to be dealing with people that are sort of trying to get into your life through a side door to get something from you. You're standing strong. This is beautiful. Okay, Leo, interesting reading. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's helped. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.